Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to automate the paper dupe that I showed in my last video. Now, of course, doing it manually is going to be a pain, and if you actually want to get the most out of this dupe, you're going to have to automate it. So, I took it upon myself to make an AHK and figure out how to automate it for you. So, this is the setup you're going to need. It's going to look a little bit wonky, but don't even worry about it. All you have down here is a chest item filter. This item filter will filter out the bottles. So to build this, you just want to get three blocks, like so. Get a repeater, some redstone, some comparators, two hoppers, and a chest. So all you're going to want to do is place them like this, sort of in a little star-shaped pattern, and then place one block on top. Now you're going to place the repeater facing this block, the comparator facing away, two redstone, and then a hopper facing into the comparator, and then place a random junk block here in your chest behind it, and then place a hopper into your chest. Now, if you fill up this hopper, you can do anything. I prefer to use the signs. And then, of course, you are going to need your bottles. You're going to need seven of them to start. So here's your signs. As you can see, they are funneling through right now. But once you add in a redstone torch to the bottom right here, you can see that these signs stay in the hopper. Now you're going to throw in your glass bottles, and they stop at six. One of them is in here, and one is in the chest. Now, anytime you throw glass bottles in here, they will get picked up and put into the chest, as to where any other item will not. Now, this is crucial, as your potion of harming can't go in the hopper, but your bottles need to for the script to work. So, it does have a pretty specific setup, but once you've gotten this, you can just create, like, a chest line, sort of going down, and you can just keep making it, so then you can have a ton of double chests, and you'll be set to run your computer overnight with the script running. So, now you're going to get a 20 block long fall, like this, and make a tube up. Now, at the end of this tube, you are going to make a 3 block area out, place a bed here, and while standing on this block here, you're going to set your spawn. Now, you're going to be facing this whenever you respawn, so if I slash kill myself right here, and I respawn, I'll be facing this wall, and my hotkey will be something random or whatever it was left off. Two. So, now I'm going to grab my instant arming potion. You're going to start with it in your first hotbar slot. So, game mode, survival, of course. Then, you're going to run the auto hotkey. Download is linked in the description below. Your game has to be full screen for this to work, because that is the coordinates that I set it up to. However, you can change the click coordinates by getting a mouse position and just seeing where your mouse is on your computer. So, now I'm going to be facing up. I jump down here. Then, I turn on auto walk and I enable F1, which will start running the hotkey. Now what this does is it automatically respawns and automatically swaps hotbar slots for you so that you can just keep this running overnight. So I really hope you did enjoy today's video. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe. This was pretty simple to automate, but I did this live on stream. If you want to catch my streams, uh, you can. I mean, I stream daily. But yeah, have a wonderful day and uh, goodbye for now.